Welcome back into the Sports Source, the segment brought to you by Tennessee Urology Associates. Um, this is one of my easiest uh, advertisements in show ads to do um, because if there were a Pennington family reunion, it would be three people shy, if not for Tennessee uh, Urology Associates. Uh, myself, my father, another member of my family just uh, had to deal with prostate cancer this past year, and this is who they turned to. Uh, I can't say enough good things about Tennessee Urology and the way they treated me and uh, family members. Uh, and that's not just for prostate cancer uh, and certainly not just for men either. They do. It's a wonderful practice. I believe in them wholeheartedly. Uh, went through my cancer 10 years ago and probably wouldn't be standing here if not for Tennessee Urology and the person who is seated to my right. Uh, Dr. Christopher Ramsey is back with us uh, from Tennessee Urology Associates. You've joined us now every year since 2011, which I appreciate you doing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. So uh, thank you very much for doing this. Uh, I just want to talk very briefly uh, about how important it is to pay attention to prostate cancer uh, and to be aware of what's going on. Let me give you some stats just to start this segment. First of all, the American Cancer Society estimates that there are about 250,000 new cases of prostate cancer each year in the United States. Uh, there are about 34,000 deaths from prostate cancer every year in the United States. Uh, many of you don't think, well, that's not going to happen to me. Remember legendary Carson and coach Ken Sparks, who came on this show. I've had other people who've dealt with this, who've come on this show, sports figures, and told about their stories. And he came here and said that he wished he had taken the threat more seriously. Uh, and ultimately, it cost him his life that he got on it late. Uh, but looking at the stats here, one in eight men will get prostate cancer. That's basically 10 guys off of a football team, 85-man scholarship uh, roster. Prostate cancer, the second leading cause of death, cancer death, among American men. More men die from prostate cancer than women die from breast cancer. Um, Chris, those are scary statistics. But this cancer is one of the most beatable cancers if you catch it early. Right, that's the key is to, is to catch prostate cancer early. So you know, it's really important to get your PSA, your rectal exam. No one likes to get the rectal exam, but yeah. that's part of the, part of the, uh, the identification. Well, of your it. joke is. Yeah, you, know, you should feel sorry for me. Yeah, yeah exactly. Think about how many times a day I get to do that. So uh, bless my heart. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so men, men who are at risk for prostate cancer are all men over age of 50. So when you turn 50, time to get your PSA and rectal exam. Uh, if you're a black man or have a family history of prostate cancer, then age 40, is when you should start doing that. And if you catch it early, then you're gonna do very, very well. And there are a lot of treatments for prostate cancer. And so, so that's the, the beauty of prostate cancer is that it is uh, identifiable and it is very, very treatable if you catch it early. But if you don't catch it early, it can, it can cause some problems. And uh, you mentioned black men, so African-Americans have a higher risk of it. Um, and and you, in terms of age, you know, I got a rare case at 40 and had a doctor who, you know, I, I, what I'm getting at is it's important to do the PSA, do the, the rectal exam every, it's 15 seconds, it's not even that yeah. long. Um, but not only that, but do your annual checkups, your annual physicals with a normal doctor. My doctor happened to see trace amounts of blood in my urine. It turns out I've had that trace amount of blood ever since. So that wasn't tied to the Completely prostate unrelated. cancer, but I had a doctor who said, you know what, humor me, do the PSA. We found the cancer. So, yes, do the PSA when you're at that certain age. If you're a high-risk guy, pay attention to it. But it also makes sense to do the yearly, just an annual physical with your regular family, family physician and pay attention to the warning signs. If you see something else, get to a urologist, follow up, be smart about it. Um, in terms of the PSA, Chris, it's a blood test. Blood test. Blood draw, come in, get your blood draw, uh, rectal exam, and you know, that's it. And if uh, PSA is a little high, you know, just, just don't be scared about it. Uh, make sure that you get it checked, and if it's, if it's uh, not cancer, great, but if it is, catch it early, and that's the big thing. I mean, you, you didn't have a family history when you were diagnosed, which no, is interesting I was because- No, I was the uh, foreshadowing you, for the you, rest you of the guys in my history. family. Yeah, yeah, so you're 40 years old, you're young, your dad was still young at the time, so he yeah. didn't have prostate cancer. So some people don't know that they have a family history of prostate cancer like you, and yeah. so you know, it's, it's good to get it checked early. Yeah, and the, the PSA test, uh, once you, if you go through the cancer, you're still gonna always have a risk of it coming back in some form or fashion, so you have to do a PSA every year. I did mine this week. I went in, did my annual checkup with my normal doctor, did the usual blood lab work. I said, hey, run the PSA at the same time. Sure, no problem, boom. That is simple. 
I mean, this is a very easy cancer to prevent, or I shouldn't say to prevent, but to catch early mm -hmm. and, and save yourself uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of grief on the, uh, the other side of things. I would think as a doctor dealing with, and we haven't talked about this, so I don't know what your answer is going to be, but I would think it would be very frustrating as a doctor who deals greatly with a cancer that is beatable, that you can catch early. It would have to be frustrating to have to tell someone, yeah, you've got it and it's bad and our options are low because you didn't take this. Yeah, and I, and I have seriously. that discussion you know, every week with several patients at a time. You said it's preventable, it's, you're, you're right, it's not preventable, however, the death is preventable. And right. so that's the, important, that's the important thing, is if you catch it early, and we harp on it over and over, early, 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 you gotta be early and catch it early and you, you'll do well. Sometimes you just watch it, sometimes you need to treat it, uh, everybody's going to be different on how they how they need to uh, deal with their cancer, but uh, you got to catch it before you can deal with it. Uh, Dr. Christopher Ramsey, uh, there's no better guy in town in my opinion, but it, regardless, uh, Tennessee Urology Associates, he works with a ton of great uh, co-workers over there, and uh, you know, just be smart. Just a regular checkup every year with your normal doctor, PSA test, rectal exam, if anything spotted, get to your urologist. Simple easy it can save your life all right doc thank you very much for uh, being thank here thank you when we uh, when we come back we'll turn to the chucky c note casino and get his views on which games for tennessee are more likely wins which are more likely losses we'll make them rank them from one to twelve so everybody can then take their scalpels and cut them to pieces come on back on the sports source <laughs>